Hello and welcome to the Noble Leaders Cup. I'm just like this is the first qualifying round game between Curtin and Jackson. Curtin is charismatic and protective and Australia starts with mysticism and hunting. Jackson is charismatic and imperialistic and the American start with fishing and agriculture. These are the starting positions. Let's turn the resource bubbles on for a moment. Curtin starts here next to a river. There is some dice, there is some cows over here with spices, clams and some rice over here. There is also some fish up here. However, he starts here, uh, approximately in the middle. Uh, Jackson starts up north, next to a river with floodplains. There is oil for later, there is marble, there are cows, there is some fish down here. Fish over here, two fishes. And some wine over here with some gold up here as well. Let's see who can get uh, the best start here. Let's start the game to see who can go through to the next qualifying round. Curtin versus Jackson in the first qualifying round. And off we go. <coughs> Sorry. 40 turns, one city each. They are in different religions. Jackson is annoyed with Curtin, two cities each at the moment. See, they are both getting here their second city, different religions, by the way. Curtain first to three cities. Uh, Jackson follows suit uh, not long after. And Curtain is first to four cities as well. Going for monarchy, Jackson goes for construction. Five cities each. Turn 127 now. Curtain first to six. He built a city way, way down south. Six cities each now. We see the development with Curtain, seven cities each now. Curtain going construction as well. Curtain is weaker than Jackson at the moment. 0.6 the strength. Jackson going theology. Construction for Curtain. Curtain's next is calendar. Nine cities. Jackson is first to nine cities. Going for the music. And uh, we see Curtain, both of them on currency by the way. Ten cities. Jackson, nine cities. Curtain. And philosophy for Jackson. Curtin is still weaker than Jackson. Down to 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.6. Jackson is up to 12 cities, 13 cities. Jackson has expanded better in mid game here. 13 cities to 9, 14 cities to 9, 14 to 12 after Curtin suddenly uh, founded a lot of them. Jackson is still not happy with Curtin and it looks like Jackson is stronger as well. Curtin down to 0.6 the strength. Curtin trying to go for feudalism now then. While Jackson is on nationalism. 16 cities to 13. Turn 235 has passed. Optics for Jackson. Guilds next for him. Curtin is getting machinery going guilds as well. Banking for Jackson now then. Going education while Curtin is going towards guilds. 16 cities to 13. 16 to 14. Turn to 52. Jackson is first to liberalism. 17 cities to 14. Who is going to go into the new world first then and settle it? 17 cities to 15. Engineering now for Curtin. Jackson is getting his economics and corporations. And it looks like it is the Americans that is going to get into the new world first, and it really is, and we have the war. Jackson going gunpowder, has settled the city all the way in the west. 17 cities to 16, Jackson versus Curtin, we are in war. Getting gunpowder, going chemistry, Curtin is going towards astronomy right now. 17 cities, 18 cities, Jackson has founded yet another one in the new world in the west. Turn to 79. 18, 17, 17, Curtin took a city, 18, 17, Jackson founded another city as well. Curtin is going slowly towards astronomy, but he's getting it now. He's down to his point eight the strength of Jackson, which means he is closer now than he was before the war. Printing press for Jackson, we do have the piece. 18 cities, Jackson, 17 cities, Curtin turned to 87, 19 cities. Now Jackson is expanding in the new world. That is good, but Curtin is not that far behind, Go going for uh, replaceable parts now, Jackson. Music for Curtin next, still have the peace treaty in effect. Rifling for Jackson, looks like he may be gearing up for another war then. 
Curtain is down to 0.7, the strength of Jackson again, and the Peace Treaty is over. 21 cities to 17. Jackson is a little bit stronger than Curtin. Curtin going towards nationalism. He's getting it in two. Democracy for Jackson next. Turn 302. This game is far from over, but Jackson has the advantage. 21 cities to 17 and Curtin is down to 0.6 the strength of Jackson, which means that Jackson is almost twice as strong at the moment. We see Curtin adopting something, uh, nationhood and organized religion and stuff. Jackson 21 cities to 17. He hasn't attacked yet, but he has really gotten the new world. Jackson has gotten the new world under his thumb now. There is only American cities over there in the west as far as I can see. 23 cities, 217 and Jackson is building up. He is twice as strong as Curtin, going for scientific method. Curtin is getting economics, going corporation next, turn 324. Whew. Curtin, 17 cities, Jackson is up to 24. And there it is, the first Australian city in the new world. It is down on that island in the southwest. 24 cities to 18. Then, in other words, Jackson is going towards steel though. While Curtin is getting his divine rights, 24 to 19. And there we also founded a city on that main continent in the West Curtin. That's a city that is going to be pressured by American culture, I believe. 24 to 19 is the city count. Turn 344. We haven't seen another declaration of war, even though Jackson is angry with the Curtin. So... That means they could be thinking about it. But Jackson, is he going culture? Is Jackson going culture? He is taking over a hundred turns to go towards steel. Jackson is going culture. Jackson is trying to go culture and one city reached legendary. I thought I saw that on the chat in the middle of the screen. 25 cities to 20, but Jackson is going culture, turn 363. It means that Curtin now needs to do something. Can he stop Jackson? He is 0.6 the strength. He's weaker than Jackson. Jackson has more cities. Jackson is stronger. Jackson has more score. It looks to me like this is a slam dunk for Jackson. He's going culture and Curtin cannot stop him. Jackson cannot be stopped by Curtin militarily, <coughs> I believe. Sorry about that. Still coughing. Uh, Curtin on 20 cities. Jackson and there it is. Jackson has won a cultural victory in turn 380, 1960 AD. This was a very well executed game by Jackson and he is through to the second qualifying round. Congratulations. This game had one war, it was 
Curtin, who declared in 1780, turn 266, and Curtin also won the war by two cities captured to uh, nothing. Peace treaty signed in 1830, turn 285, after 50 years or 19 turns in war. However, it was Jackson that went on to win the cultural victory as he went culture towards the end there. Let's go take a look at the stats. Here are the graphs, and we see Curtin, he is the one that is the dark blue, and Jackson is the light blue score. Uh, GNP, production, food, power, culture, and espionage. Let's go to the demographics tab. Curtin's numbers, Jackson's numbers, Jackson ended with 31 million population. Uh, 3,750 GNP uh, per turn. Top six cities and wonders. We see there were three wonders in the BC era, Stonehenge, Oracle, Temple of Solomon. Then we see in the top six cities, Jackson has all the top six cities in this game. Let's go to the stats. Here we see Curtin, 18 cities built, two religions, one golden age, currently on 39 towns, 29 windmills, 20 farms. He did uh, build a total of 18 barracks and theaters, 17 lighthouses, four Buddhist stupas, let's go page down, and we see one Chichen Itza at the bottom of the list of buildings. Current units done. For Curtin, 56 longbowmen, 17 workers, 14 grenadiers, down to one privateer. He did train a total of 73 archers, 30 caravels, 21 workers, source archers, US missionaries, and a workboats. Two great merchants, patch down, and one galley completes the list of units trained. The kills then, Six longbowmen, five war elephants, three catapults, down to one musketman, and the losses were, hmm, actually nothing. Nothing. He lost nothing. That's incredible. I don't understand that, but okay. Let's take a look at Jackson then to confirm. 27 cities built, 5 religions founded, 2 golden ages currently on 43 towns, 42 windmills, 17 villages he built in his cities, 24 grand wrist, 21 lighters, 17 forges down to 2 Hindu monasteries, let's go page down, let's see a complete page 2 with the great wall at the bottom, let's go page down again and see Scotland Yard completing the list of buildings for Jackson. Current units. 62 riflemen, 33 grenadiers, 26 workers, 20 cavalry, down to 3 trebuchets. He trained a total of 35 archers, 32 riflemen, 31 workers, down to 5 knights and page down. And we see one great spy at the bottom of the list of units trained. Um, let's look at the kills then. Um, he did have some losses, he killed 7... Did I not? Uh, seven catapults, five horse archers, three trebuchets, two spearmen, down to one trireme, and the losses? Uh, six longbowmen, five war elephants, three catapults, down to one musketman. Okay, so Curtin. Uh, did I not go? Oh, uh -huh. apparently I didn't uh, sort them uh, properly. Right, sorry about that. Curtin lost 7 catapults, 5 horse archers, 3 trebuchets, down to 1 caraval. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, well, uh, sorry about that. Uh, my head was not in the right place, apparently. So, congratulations then <laughs> to Jackson going through. And let's go and take a look at the victory condition screen. Here we see that Boston just reached legendary for Jackson, New York and Washington. New York not that far uh, ahead, but Washington was legendary for some time, 71k. And uh, nothing close uh, to culture for Curtin. Jackson only had 58% of the land area, so he wasn't uh, anywhere close to any domination and he didn't go for it. Jackson built the apostolic palace. Let's go exit and take a look at the cities. Curtin has 20 of them. Here is the city list for Curtin. 
with Sydney and Brisbane and Perth on pop 12 and you see they are very happy they are healthy they have base food that is decent they have base commerces that are decent but nothing spectacular the production is well kind of low I guess but it's relatively early we are only in turn 380 uh, building a lot of uh, buildings you can uh, stop and uh, pause the video if you want to uh, check closer let's go exit and uh, look at the cities of Jackson then we go to Jackson and okay and then he has 25 which should be uh, on the first page sort by population yes we can see all of them Cleveland, Pop 21, Dallas 17, and then Houston, Cincinnati, and New Orleans 16. And they are happy and healthy, healthy with the exception of Dallas, that is unhealthy. And we see also some good base food, at least in Cleveland, that has 48 food, that is very good. And we also see the base commerce with a few in the 70s and some in the 60s, that's good. And we also see relatively good production statue of liberty in 31 turns wall street in five and uh, some units here as well congratulations then uh, to jackson with the cultural victory and going through to the second qualifying round tomorrow we have the game in the first qualifying round between kusa and tectamus I am Shot Like This has been the Noble Leaders Cup. I hope to see you back tomorrow. Goodbye for today.